See, I, I, think, I think that could work. There is not a doubt in my mind. Yeah, and think of the money-making potential, James. Think of the merchandise, the Uncle Bryn action figure. Oh, yeah. yeah. Now, take a look at... This is a prototype, James. I, I, you, could have, you could have a thing in the back. A pull, you pull a thing a out pull of his back. chest. Yeah. And he says, Satnav. Yeah. <laughs> I think the character is, is rich enough that, in all seriousness, that if anyone, if anyone was going to do... Oh, God. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, they yeah. would fly off the shelves. Yeah. <laughs> OK. Well, the, the worrying thing about this is that you presented it like it was a joke, but I think it's clear to all of us now you're actually taking this very seriously. <laughs> Will you give it the green light? Yeah, or I think just do a... Yes! Just do a... <laughs> he said yes! I mean... But we'll, um... We'll talk more with you mm. in a little while. The audience will get a chance to ask questions, so have a little oh, think. And uh, we've put uh, the word out. Word up. I nearly did that then, sorry. <laughs> put the word out on Twitter, all right? OK. Uh, but first of all, I want you to meet somebody else. Uh, his last album went triple platinum and won him a Brit Award and three Grammys. Please welcome the hugely talented Mark Ronson. <laughs> Look, James, see, if Mark I know, Ronson it's, thinks it's a good I, idea... I, do you know what? That has spun it. If Mark Ronson is backing Inspector Brin, then me and Ruth will get a pen to paper right now. I just got back from somewhere and everyone's talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I feel... I feel... Tell me. I feel less cool than I've ever felt. I mean, you are the epitome, and I don't mean to embarrass you, you are the epitome of, of cool and style. How do you do it? I mean, sitting next to James helps, but generally... <laughs> um, that's very kind of you to say. Although you're a multi-instrumentalist, you can play all manner of instruments. You started as a DJ, didn't you? I did. Well, I played instruments as a kid, but I made my name as a DJ in New York in, the, mm. in sort of, like, the mid-90s. You were in the hip-hop district of, of, of the Bronx, yeah. uh, you know, in, in New York, James, America. And I... <laughs> James, James, I've known you for a long time. Please don't laugh at me. <laughs> it's so wonderful. It's like watching when a lamb gets born or a deer and they're, like, just trying to find, <laughs> trying to find something to cling on to to look like they know what they're doing. The am... hip-hop clubs of the Bronx area. <laughs> I'm out of my comfort zone, You're Mark. doing a decent job. Thank you. Thank you. Cheeky bugger, isn't he? Cheeky bugger. <laughs> um, but then I read you, you then... You did weddings. Now, I don't mean you became a wedding DJ, you know. I also have all the bride's family up on the floor now. You, you, did... do, you do what you have to do to pay the rent. Yeah, but you definitely. weren't doing those kind of weddings. In you the did... beginning, definitely. Did you? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. See? <laughs> Me and Mark are getting all like a bloody house on fire here. <laughs> what sort of stuff would you play at those weddings, then? I don't know. I will survive. Like any, Dancing whatever Queen? Whatever works. Dancing Queen, yeah. Abba, Michael Jackson. Sure. Yeah. I, I, but then, the one I want to get to is you DJed at Tom Cruise's wedding. Yes. Wow. <laughs> so what sort of stuff would you play for them? You know, it was weird. I, uh, I was pretty nervous. I like Tom Cruise in films, and, and uh, I thought I'd have a couple cool routines planned out. So I yeah. thought I'd take the, the Top Gun theme, the down, 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 you know. And I thought, I'll mix it with a beat. So I picked a Holler Back Girl by Gwen Stefani. Know so. it well. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm playing it. You know, playing it together. But I can't look up, because it's quite an involved thing. And yeah. my friend's next to me going, look, Tom Cruise is sh shooting the guns at you right now. And I'm like, I can't look over. And he's like, going like, this, like nice mix. And I just, I couldn't. But then I played You Lost That Loving Feeling, which I realized later is quite inappropriate for a wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was cute, and I was like, that's completely wrong. <laughs> now, look, you're, uh, I've said you're, you're a multi-instrumentalist, yeah. OK? Um, I'm handy with a few instruments. James, as a kid, I read you played the cornet, is that right? I did in the Salvation Army Band, yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I just happen to have one of now. these. Well, just give it a go. Come on, there you go, that's for you. Take that. Uh, now, I genuinely don't... I, I, I don't remember the last time I... Mark, you play guitar, you play keyboards, you play all sorts. Yeah. But can you play 
Stylophone. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Give it a go, it's as endorsed by Rolf Harris. I've seen um, one before. I, myself, am grade eight kazoo. Um, <laughs> so now, here's what I thought we'd do, and I'll, I'll, I'll lead you. If you find a riff that works, OK, James okay. and I will just jazz around you, OK? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> James, all you need to know, James, all you need to know is, blow, big man, blow. <laughs> Shut up, Gordon. <laughs> blow, big man. <laughs> what could happen? Right, let's start. We can do this. Do you want a different key? I, th I think the key, is, the key is academic, to be honest. <laughs> oh. My next guest is a stand-up comedian who I think is fantastic. Please welcome Carly Smallman. I should say, when we were, when we were planning this show, we did some warm-up kind of run-throughs in London, and Carly came along and was our comedian for those shows. And she's never done TV before, and I thought she was fantastic. So I've asked her to come and be on the show tonight. So please give a big welcome to Carly Smallman. Ah, this room kind of reminds me of my love life. All dark and dank and full of strangers. <laughs> this fine gentleman here has caught my eye. <laughs> Hello. What's your name, sir? Kevin. Kevin. And how old are you, Kevin? 46. 46? Hello, Daddy. <laughs> no, Kevin, I love older men, and I'll, I'll tell you for why. I get the benefit of, of their age and their wisdom and their experience, and they... Well, they just get to feel grateful. <laughs> when we go home late tonight, you and I and Kevin, and maybe let's bring your wife along just for kicks, <laughs> um, I've written a little song, and it's, it's kind of a tip for you, Kevin. So, um, listen well. You're hot, you're cute, you're totally adorable But what you want is totally deplorable Don't put that in there <laughs> <laughs> It's a love song You are my everything You make my heart sing Skin of olive and hair of gold Eyes that pierce into my soul My darling baby boy, I'm in love with you Though you're kind of shy and your charms are few You always leave our bedroom in a bit of a mess You leave the toilet seat up, you're hopeless It's just a shame that you're my brother <laughs> Romantic. I want you inside my knickers I don't care if our kids are born with flippers Our family's so similar in every way We share 100% DNA And when I finally become your bride The church will be full up on just one side Our blood type it's just the same I can even keep my own last name <laughs> An older woman Might not be so bad, bad, bad I even get on with your Mum and Dad I'll tell you things that no one else knows You look so hot in my old hand-me-down clothes <laughs> 
We shared baths when we were young. Let's share one more just for fun. <laughs> And if we feel like some extra loving, we can hook up with some of our cousins. Get into the top bunk with me. Things are best kept in the family. That's just as well 'cause you're my brother. In love with ya. Ah, ah, ah. I fancy you, 'cause you remind me of Dad. Thank you. I don't actually have a brother. <laughs> well, not since he got married, anyway. <laughs> have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Charlie Smallman, ladies and gentlemen.